All right, this cup is really going to become kind of a Franken cup. Um, I've already taken these two triangles out of there from down here. Now I just went across the top and I took out four little triangles. So you can see all these cuts that I've made here. So I've got to go back through and make those overlap joints. Now the other thing is, is that you see what that's done to this rim, right? It's really made the rim kind of choppy, not so attractive. So this is where we can use some of our skills from coil building. You know, all the while we're thinking about that connection of those two hemispheres where the clay overlaps. I'm still doing that overlap thing on all these joints, right? And the coil building, how we overlap the clay with the coil building. So all these seams are very, very similar in that sense. And you can see I'm changing the form of this cup as I go. So yeah, the coil building, you know, this rim has gotten changed. Um, adding a nice little thickness to the top of this rim, especially if it's gonna be a cup to make it durable is a good idea. So I can just slowly kind of come around here as long as my clay is still damp enough, right? And I can do this. You could add a little slipping and scoring but you don't want to get it too wet because then you can't move the clay over the seam, right? We keep talking about <clears throat> being able to move the clay over the seam, kind of pinching. Well, that was too hard of a pinch. That's going to make that rim. This is a tough one because you're kind of let, letting go of pressure. It's just a little pressure to get that edge to go on, but you don't want to make the top sharp. So you kind of have to stop short with your pressure a little bit, all right? But we're really just adding this nice coil to the rim here. You guys have all been doing some coil building, so make my way around. So now that's really solidified that rim. And I can keep going around and get rid of that nice little seam. It's kind of a push down and up all the way around this thing. 